Is my math teacher wrong? We got our math test back today and went through the answer key and I got this question wrong because I didn't move the 2 down using the basic log laws because I thought you couldn't as the square is on the outside instead interpreting it as the whole thing square. I debated with my teacher for the most of the lesson saying you are not able to move down the 2 because the exponent is on the outside and she said it's just algebra and you guys can read the rest. So the big issue is this right here, log base 4 of 1.4 square. I personally just didn't like this at all because it's just ambiguous. It really depends on how you interpret this, either as a convention or um, it's just a bad notation, kind of. So right here, if you're trying to do the following, if you are trying to say log base of 4 and then 1.6 square, okay, so they use the parentheses here. If they say the square is only for the 1.6, then please put a parentheses right here to make things super clear. Because otherwise, it does look like if we just have log base 4 of 1.6 and then the square, maybe it's for the whole thing like that. And there are two very different things. I do have to tell you guys that though. When I see people write it down like this, I know they are trying to say this right here. I will tell you that. It's just not clear. It's not a good habit. It's very similar to when you are doing trick and you write something down like sine of x squared without using parentheses. Do you mean sine of x squared or sine of x squared? This right here is just not a good notation. Unfortunately, I also see, I also have seen textbooks, they have written things down like that. But anyway, so, so I'll tell you, for a bad notation, it's meant to be like this. I know that, but just please just don't do it. So let's go ahead and figure out what if they have written it on this, what would be the answer? Right here, we're going to write this in terms of m and n, and m is this and n is that. We're not supposed to work it out like the usual way we'll use a calculator. So let's have a look. Firstly though, because the 2 is on the inside for the 1.6, by the log property, we can really put the 2 to the front and get this being 2 times log base 4 of 1.6. That's okay. Now, what's 1.6? It's like 16 over 10, yeah? So we can look at this as 2 times log, you don't need a dot, of 16 over 10. And we can reduce the fraction. Divided by 2, divided by 2. Furthermore, we can use the log property, property because we have a division inside. So this means you have to apply the log property here. That's log base 4 of the first, subtract log base 4 of the bottom. And now we see that this is given to be m and this is given to be n. Therefore, we will just have 2 times m minus n. And this is meant to be the answer. Yeah. However, if the question is written down like this, then you are not supposed to, to bring the 2 to the front. You just worked out the inside by itself. So this would be the parentheses still on the outside and then write this as log base 4 of 16 over 10. Reduce that 8 over 5. And then rewrite it. This is log base 4 of 8 minus log base 4 of 5. And then square. If you only have one thing inside of the log, you don't need to put on the parentheses. That's a usual convention. Anyways, again, this is m and this is n. So you would just keep it as m minus n and then square and then just like that. Okay, so I would just say it's a good notation, but if you do encounter somebody writing like this, it's meant to be this. Yeah, but just tell them. You can, you can tell them for clarification uh, during the test. I think that would be the best part. Uh, Show them which sets of parentheses are the, is the question trying to say. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. That's it.